Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, guys. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to another fact file. This is the part of the show and the part of the channel where we take a look at some roller coasters and attractions and look at specific stats and facts and a bit of history about the rides. Now I'm not too sure exactly who shouted this out and who shouted this video idea out but you did put it in the Google Forms link so massive shout out to whoever suggested this video. Don't forget guys if you want to suggest your video ideas use the Google Forms link in the description down below but this is one of them. This is about Fly at Fantasyland. This is the Vekoma Flying Roller Coaster in Germany that opened uh, just uh, last year in 2020. So uh, make sure you go and check out the Google Forms link where you can submit your video ideas, whether that's a next five years video, a fact file, a review, a closed but not forgotten video, or a reaction video theme park or non-theme park. You'll have seen we've uploaded the Coast Shell Reacts video to Lessons from My Neighbourhood which is the uh, very important public information films and also we've reacted to the Tornado Springs advert at Poulton's Park. So we've reacted to numerous stuff both theme park and non-theme park to try and reach out to more audiences. Uh, but for now guys make sure you go and like the video, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on Fly at Fantasyland, subscribe, click the case bell so you never miss another YouTube video and for now, guys, let's go inside the fact file of Fly at Fantasia. So Fly first opened on the 17th, the 17th um, of September 2020. It's a Vekoma Flying Roller Coaster. It has a length of 4,055.1 feet, the 48.5 miles per hour max speed, two inversions, which are both corkscrews, along with an LSM boost, a rolling LSM launch, and a dark slash show section. Now, this is arranged four trains with 10 cars per train. Riders are arranged uh, two across in a single row for a total of 20 riders per train, with a capacity of 1,400 riders per hour. Theming by MK Themed Attractions. Now, this company uh, are from Denmark. They've done 14 roller coasters, including uh, Drage Kongan at Dejur Summerland, Eurosat Kankan -Kan Coaster at Europa Park, uh, Storm Chaser at Poulton's Park that's opening this year, Untamed at Walby Holland, Wilderhild at Schwaben Park, uh, the Rollerball Coaster by Rand Engineer Switzerland. So they've done a lot of uh, parks, including Fantasyland. Uh, mainly their projects are Dejur Summerland coasters, however, they, are work they have worked on Fly as well as other park attractions. Now this is stated by the park as the world's longest flying roller coaster. Now the previous record was 1,124 meters, uh, which was the flying dinosaur coaster at Universal Studios uh, in Japan. Now I did actually do the, the sort of uh, so change in uh, direction with that statistic with the 1,124 meters. And um, as I put it through, uh, into um, feet in terms of changing it round is that actually came to 3687 feet 7.968 inches specifically so uh, this is definitely a longer longer coaster uh, now fly of course in terms of when it started being constructed um, it's the first flying roller coaster with a launch, the longest flying coaster in the world, and of course it is one of the first ones in Germany, I believe, as well. Now, the erection of the ride started in July 2017, and of course it opened in 2020. So, this has been a delayed project, so I think it was going to open around 2018-2019. Uh, however, Fly ended up opening in 2020, which I'm glad it's opened at all, to be honest. Uh, but overall, uh, Fly at Fantasyland is a wonderful thrilling attraction and I really really can't wait to see exactly what's going on because uh, with, with the future of the fly area now how they're going to keep it maintained how they're going to keep it looking sheep and sparkish uh, because fly at Fantasyland really definitely is uh, just amazing overall a wonderful beautiful coaster with an absolutely stunning theme so there we go ladies and gentlemen thrill seeks of all ages that is the fact file on fly at Fantasyland. now there's a lot of facts to go through in this video uh, but obviously this is not like a review video or anything like that obviously i haven't done the coaster which kind of helps uh and you know it's all about going through the stats and a bit of history as well 
and you know just overall just sharing overall looks of fly from the facts as well i mean the facts first of all speak for themselves the longest flying roller coaster in the world the longest of its kind in the world and it's also the first flying coaster with a launch b m take notice uh, <laughs> uh but overall fly looks amazing the overall air is incredible we've done lots of coverage on this coaster on the channel loads of overall area coverage as well of the hotel charles lindbergh of the um you know the surrounding area the queue line looking at the coaster trap being uh, erected and put up uh, around the, the the site of the the coaster and fantastic this is one of their this is their next big major project after Taran. And overall, I can't wait for the next major project for Fantasia Land, and it's interesting to see what it will be. But with Fly, definitely on the same level as Taron, in my opinion, in terms of how big the project is. And the reason why I say it's on the same level as Taron is because the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the scale of it. It's the absolute scale of the project. And the steampunk theming going on with the Rookburr area, as well as the Hotel Charles Lindbergh right next door. And... You know, overall, Fantasyland really did a cool job in bringing that steampunk atmosphere into the ride and having the ride interact with nearby walls and rock work and sort of over and under. It's it's just wonderful. And Vekoma did a wonderful job creating this coaster, creating the track for the coaster, creating the layout with the coaster. MK themed attractions, round of applause, pat on the back done a beautiful job with the theming and i can't wait to go out to germany myself in the future to ride this coaster because this is definitely a bucket list coaster for sure as well as all the other coasters at fantasia land so you know it'd be wonderful to get a fantasia land vlog a fantasia land vlog on the channel and uh, a review of fly on site as well so uh wonderful stuff from fly at fantasia land and i really can't wait to ride this for myself but from the facts file and from the facts and the stats it looks incredible so Thank you very much, guys, for watching this fact file on Fly at Fantasia Land. Big thank you to the person that sent this video idea in. If you want to send your video ideas in, again, Google Forms link, get in the description down below. Get in there and send in your video ideas, whether it's a theme park reaction video, a non theme park reaction video, we'll react to anything PG. Um, obviously, uh, reviews, fact files, next five year videos, send them all in because we're going to be getting so busy over this year especially in the second half of the year especially that because of course that time i'll have finished uni it'll be the summer break hopefully kobe will be next to nowhere and hopefully we can have a, a good summer and hopefully going into halloween as well because we'd like to, i think all of us would love a, a full-on halloween so thank you very much guys my name is coast shell keep living the coast life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have a fantastic day <laughs> see what i did there